Ever pondered if the zombie virus could be an actual scientific possibility? Well, prepare to dive into a world where fact meets fiction and science dances with the supernatural. Welcome to the realm of the undead, from a strictly scientific perspective, of course. Viruses have always been the master puppeteers of nature, subtly controlling the functions of their hosts. One such example is the rabies virus, a deadly disease known to cause aggressive behavior and delirium in its victims. Rabies, while not inducing the classic zombie hunger for brains, certainly paints a terrifying picture of a virus's power to alter behavior. But it's the parasitic Cordyceps fungus that takes us a step closer to true zombiehood. Infecting insects, it takes over their nervous systems and controls their actions, turning them into real-life zombies. While Cordyceps doesn't affect humans, it's a chilling reminder of nature's ability to create zombie-like creatures. Then, there's the infamous mad cow disease or bovine spongiform encephalopathy. This condition caused by prions leads to personality changes, lack of coordination and difficulties in walking, symptoms eerily reminiscent of our fictional zombies. While the disease is specific to cattle, a variant can infect humans, causing similar neurological symptoms. Now, before panic sets in, it's crucial to remember that the transformation into a full-fledged zombie, as depicted in popular culture, is a far stretch from reality. The human body's complex immune system and medical science's advancements make the chances of a zombie apocalypse highly unlikely. To recap, while the concept of a zombie virus is fascinating, it remains for now in the realm of fiction. Several viruses and parasites like rabies, cordyceps and mad cow disease can cause zombie-like symptoms. Yet the leap from these conditions to a world overrun by brain-eating undead is a vast one. So, as you tuck yourself into bed tonight, rest easy. The chances of your neighbor turning into a zombie by morning are slim to none. Still, it's intriguing to think about, isn't it? Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and your scientific spirit burning bright. Stay safe in the world of the living.